Yeah. Weirdo. Hey, what's going on, Charlie? I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Mm -hmm. Man, we got a Kentucky Owl for you. We have the St. Patrick's Day release, the limited yes. edition, uh, release number one. It arrived just a little bit too late for us to do this for St. Patrick's Day, but uh, it got there eventually, right? Yep. It got there eventually. Then got we, there eventually. Then we went down to the uh, Texas Bourbon Trail. Those episodes will be coming out soon. Mm -hmm. And saw this one everywhere down there. Uh, but this is a collaboration bottle. Um, this is a collaboration between Luis uh, McGuane, I don't know, uh, who is an Irish whiskey bonder, and John Ray, who is a master uh, blender. A collaboration between them down in Bardstown, uh, Kentucky for Kentucky Owl. The, um, uh, yeah, limited release. I love, love, love the design of this uh, label. Uh, this is a 50% ABV, 100. Oh, you can tell that's a proof. bourbon. Uh, non age statement. This is a blend between whiskeys four and 11 years of age. Jean Marie, what you got over there on your nostrils? Like I was saying when I rudely interrupted you, um, this. I appreciate your candor. <laughs> And this is a bourbon. I mean, you can you put it under your nose and you're like, oh, it's a bourbon. You know, sometimes we play a game where he'll he'll fill up my glass and I'll have to guess, oh, is that a bourbon, rye, whatever, what, what is it? Scotch, What's your nose? Indian, what is it? Danish, this Finnish? Here, this here is a bourbon. And no, no, no hiding it. No hiding it. Um, Caramels, brown sugars, the butters. Hmm. Maybe even some cherry, dark cherry. I'll give you a cherry um, sucker. Mm, okay. Some cotton candy, some some pink cotton candy. This is just it's it's Christmas time, and you've got that. Somebody gave you a tin of caramel popcorn. Okay. Maybe some uh, peanuts are in there, but they're all kind of stuck together. Poppycock. Is that what that is? Poppycock. Poppy I'm gonna say it. I'm declaring poppycock. Ah. Oh. Some poppycock. Uh, do we know the mash bill on this, Gene? I just, don't have anything written down. Just a blend of 4 to 11 years of age. There's some poppycock in there. Some light oak notes. The oak is there. Uh, there's some rye in here. I can, I'm can. i picking up a bit of the rye spice. Are ya? Not a ton. The corn's there. I usually there. get rye better than you, you do on the nose, but I'm, I'm just getting straight up bourbons. I'm getting oak and cream corn. Cream corn. Bit of sugar, like a granulated sugar, cotton candy sugar as well. I'm getting brown sugar. Different like notes. A Three brown sugars. Brown sugar with the butter and it's a caramel and it's melted in a pot. That's right. I remember this was mm. sweet when we uncorked it. And not for nothing, we, we, we've gone to this a few times since we did uncorking on it. Mm, I'm going in. I'm going go in. Uh, a little bit of a, as I was coming back out I'm just now, a little bit of a raspberry candle. Maybe a Yankee candle. Mm. Look at you, look mm. at you, look at you. Getting a new whiskey boyfriend over there. Kentucky Owl. <sighs> Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> well played, well played. That, that's, a, that's a hoot and a half right there. <laughs> two hoots, I did two hoots. Um, this melts over your tongue, over your tongue. Ooh, got me all. Mm, choke that. Mm, mm. You need some water? No, I need whiskey. You need whiskey? Okay. Mm. Either or. Mm, whiskey sunshine. What? I'm a whiskey sunshine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Whiskey Sunshine. Ah, <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Scott and Shelly who uh, comment on a lot of our videos. It is so yummy, and the, it's, the, the finish is long. Buttery, creamy, spice, juicy, berries, red berries. Um, oh man, it's like I can take my tongue out of my mouth and just go with the with the juice, and then put my my glass under there, and the and it goes into my glass, and then I'll just drink it again. It's a recycler. We'll save that for a Halloween episode. It'll be scary. Mm. Um, so this coach in, it envelops your mouth with notes of it's not as sweet now as it was on that corking. Right. But there is a lot of sweetness there. Um, a little bit of maple syrup I'm getting. Maple, uh, maple syrup. syrup sweetness. A ton of corn, like a cream 
candied corn, candy corn, yep. Mm. Candy corn there, cream corn. Uh, corn is prevalent, there's a lot of baking spices there. Um, a bit of a salt and pepper, not a, not a talk you'd get on a salt and pepper potato chip. When we um, were in Kentucky, we went to this restaurant and there oh. they had this thing on the, on the menu. It was a maple candy bacon, bacon. type of thing. Bacon. It was bacon with, with coated with uh, maple syrup and it was really sweet. And black pepper. Um, it didn't taste like bacon at all. If you're interested, yeah, it, it, yeah. But that's, that. I'm tasting that sort of a sweetness with the maple syrup cooked over the bacon. If you're curious, it's Caddy Corner across the street from uh, Evan Williams' experience. I just don't remember the name of it. Uh, whiskey was in the name. I don't remember it either. So, water opens up. Maybe some ginger, get some ginger. Oh, a ginger root. A bit of a, it's like we got a fresh plank of wood here. Underneath me like a, it's like a French oak stave. Hmm. For some reason I'm getting French oak suddenly. I'm getting cedar wood. I'm getting French oak suddenly for some reason. Okay. Uh, now we have not had a ton of Kentucky Owl. Let us know down in the comments which what is your go-to Kentucky Owl? Uh, they have a two hundred dollar expression that I've yet to pull the trigger on here in town. I don't remember what the name of the expression is. Um, but yeah, let, they, let me know what your go-to Kentucky Owl is. What you would like to see us review? You're welcome suggestions. You're ready for a score? I, I forgot we do scores. I hate when I do that. I can tell you. Shoot. Shoop a doop. Shoop a doop. You're going to be there for a while. Shoop a doop. I'm going to some more. Oh, that was sweet. There's a nice candy on the back. Mm. I'm stuck between two numbers. Uh, Actually, I'm stuck I'm stuck on the threshold, Jim. Um, a little bit of oak there. Just a, just a hint of oak for me. I'm, I'm, I'm You're curious. like a fresh thing of oak. I'm curious like what you did. Part, apologize for the stall. Apologize for the stall. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm going to pull the trigger. I'm pulling the trigger. We're crossing the threshold. It's a 90. I guess you did an 88. What'd you do? You did a 92. All right. Yeah, I did a 90. To me, this crosses into that 90 range. Mm -hmm. Easy. Uh, good job to Luis. Uh, and John, Louise, and John. It says Bartstown, right? It says Bartstown. Yeah, Bartstown. It says Bart, yep, Bartstown, Kentucky. I like Bartstown. Yep. This is release one. So this is a limited edition. Uh, if you see this, get it. Although you should, I should probably tell you how much how much did you pay for it, Gene? 117. 117. I think it's really? below what they're um, recommending. I don't remember what MSRP is on this at all. Uh, I think it was higher than what I paid for it. Mm. Um, but I found it online, one of the places that we're members of, so that I get the, when you're a member of some of these online places, you can get um, first choice of the limited edition things. Oh yeah, I forgot so, that's the thing. So um, that's where I found it. Uh, they get, sent an email out saying, hey. Caster's flavor? Uh, it was in, in flavor. Flavor, okay. Um, hey, the vault is open if you're wanting to go browse the vault. That's what they call it. And uh, yeah, that's where I found it. Right, but then we go down to the Texas Bourbon Trail and it's at every liquor store down in Texas. Right, but I think so, it's more pricey. Right, and that could be, that could be. Um, I'm gonna... It's not worth 117 to me. No, it's too high. I think um, it is very good. Yeah. But 117. Uh, it. Um, I'm not 80? in love with it. I guess. That's 80. I, yeah, maybe I'd go up to 80 for sure. Um, hmm. Interesting. But it's also a limited release. Mm -hmm. It's release one, so that tells me you're not gonna put release one on the bottle unless you plan on two, three, and four. So yeah, uh, we'll see what release two, three, and four have, have in store for us. I love green, love everything about the color green. Really dig this bottle. Yes, he, well, maybe not the shape green. so much as uh, established 1879. I have some imprints back there. Yeah, I see it. Love everything about this bottle. I mean, normally you see that color green, you expect it to say rye somewhere. It doesn't, it's just St. Patrick's. Release. I like blue and purple. If you're wondering. Green's where it's at, folks. <laughs> Green's where it's at. Uh, anything to add, Gene? Uh, subscribe. Oh, yeah. You made it all the way through the video. Subscribe. Yeah, right. subscribe. Check it out. We're coming up on 600 subscribers. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I'm Charlie. And I'm Gene. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.